Our next question is from heat and thermodynamics topic and this question is again under easy category. Here you are given a cyclic process and you have to find out in which process gas absorbs heat. So clear cut process 4 is an isochoric process where volume is constant and pressure is increasing. When pressure is increasing temperature is also increasing so delta Q is positive. Positive means heat is being absorbed by the gas. So this is the process where heat is absorbed. Similarly in process 1 this is isobaric process. In this process pressure is constant but volume is increasing. So again temperature increases and gas absorbs some heat. In process 2 it is isochoric process volume constant but pressure is going down so here delta Q is negative so heat is rejected. So in process number 2 when the volume is constant and pressure goes down temperature also goes down so gas releases some energy. Similarly in last process 3 this is isobaric process again volume is decreasing so temperature is going down when temperature is going down gas is releasing some energy so delta Q is negative which means that gas rejects some energy. So these are the two processes in which gas absorbs heat and the correct answer is C. As I said earlier question falls under easy category and the chapter is heat and thermodynamics. There is one more addition to this question. This we already discussed. This is the 17 number ka question. Because uh, it was the integer numerical. But this was a comprehension. Passage wala question. So, we एक part में already इसका solve it. In which we had the projectile motion wala question. And the answer was that 7.5 meters will go far. There is one more part in this question. So, we will add that too. Find ये दोनों क्वेश्चन दो-दो नंबर के थे. Find time invent uh, in seconds when first part strikes the ground after explosion. तो देखो बच्चों ये five root two से गया और हम लोग जानते हैं कि इसका जो highest point होगा वो कहाँ पे होगा? Peak point अपन जानते हैं. First part जमीन पे कितनी देर में गिरेगा ये जानना है. तो actually first part यहाँ rest पे आएगा तो उसको जमीन पे गिरने में जो time लगेगा वो अपन लोग निकाल सकते हैं maximum it is edge. Then the time will be under root 2 h by g. Simple formula lagana hai h is equal to half g t square. But h ki value kya hai? Wo open log nikal sakte hai. Maximum height is u square, which is 50. Sin square theta, which is 1 upon 2 divided by 2 g. u square sin square theta divided by 2 g. देखते हैं कितना आता है 10 से 10 कट गया दिस इज 5 डिवाइडेड बाय 4 सो मैक्सिमम हाइट इज 5 डिवाइडेड बाय 4 सो दिस इज अंडर रूट 5 2 into 5 डिवाइडेड बाय 4 into 10 10 से 10 कट गया अपना आंसर आता है 1 upon 2 व्हिच इज 0.5 सेकंड्स इसका मतलब ये वाला जो पार्ट है ये 0.5 सेकंड में जमीन पे आ जाएगा तो स्कोरिंग था ये क्वेश्चन ये आधा पार्ट हमने पहले सॉल्व किया आधा पार्ट हमने अभी सॉल्व किया आप इन दोनों को क्लब करके देख सकते हैं आधा पार्ट वीडियो के पहले सॉल्यूशन में गया था ये सेकंड वीडियो में है अच्छा इसमें एक क्वेश्चन और पूछा जा सकता था कि सेकंड पार्ट जमीन पे कितनी देर में गिरेगा तो सेकंड पार्ट जो है वो टॉप मोस्ट पॉइंट पे जब इसके दो टुकड़े हुए तो ये वाला पार्ट तो रेस्ट पे आके नीचे गिरेगा सेकंड पार्ट हॉरिजॉन्टली उस समय प्रोजेक्ट हुआ तो सेकंड वाले पार्ट को जमीन पे आने में उतना ही टाइम लगेगा इस क्वेश्चन में जितना कि फर्स्ट वाले पार्ट को लगा यानी कि हाफ सेकंड हाफ सेकंड यस हाफ सेकंड इज द करेक्ट आंसर